Slowly work through this and I'm going to do an explanation and then we're going to bring it up to um, kind of mid speed. The key here is just looking at the different elements of this. So uh, we're going to go over mechanics and kind of talk our way through some of the different things that, that are pointers here. The key points here that I want the viewers to focus in on is using verbal commands and the exit direction and the way that you exit. And I'm not going to. I'm going to talk a little bit about the technique, but not focus too much on the technique because this isn't really um, kind of the takedown and the strip technique oriented. Although uh, I'll talk a little bit about. It. So he comes in right, and I'm going to. I'm going to female triangle out, and I'm going to use a hacking motion. As soon as I get that hack in, I'm going to come in and wrap his bicep. So I wrap his bicep and hug in. And at this point, he's got a knife, and I'm going to start saying, "Drop the knife! Drop the knife!" He probably isn't going to drop the knife because he wants to stab me. That's fine. I'm just, drop the knife, drop the knife. I step back to the takedown. I'm going to take him down easily so I don't, at this point, hurt him. I take him down, he falls down. Right? If he's, now I need him on his stomach, which is fine. All I do is I step back. I'm going to keep on his arm and pull him in to this position. Okay? Now what I want to do is isolate his arm, right? so that he can't use his knife as well. So I'm gonna sit on his tricep here, right? And you wanna kind of roll it in and so you get onto that tricep. So now I've got pressure on his tricep here and I, that knife is still in his hand. So one, I want him to look away. So I'm gonna smack him and say, look away, look away, look away, right? And I may press his head here for a second, right? <clears throat> now I need to get that knife away, okay? so. Now I'm going to, either I can keep hold of this hand or I can switch, I'm gonna keep hold of the hand for the sake of this video here. And I'm gonna smack, this is usually concrete, and you smack the hand, say let go of the knife, let go of the knife, right? It's not fully let go of it, right? I may have to peel fingers here, and pull up to release that knife, right? It, or it may be here and I'm just gonna sweep it away here. Now I like his knife, so I'm gonna keep his knife. Ooh, I got a little cut in there, that's fine, right? Oh, I took away somebody else's knife. Um, you also may throw the knife, jettison out of the way so he can't recover it here, okay? So here I've got him in a pretty good controlled position. Again, if I'm a police officer, I may say, arms out, arms out, cross your legs, cross your legs. The key point here is I've got my other foot up so I can, I'm highly mobile. If I go to two knees, um, I'm kind of stuck here for a moment. Then I'm gonna shift here. So I want this foot up here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to push off here, and I might do some exit um, kind of strikes. So I may kick him, boom, here, right? I may kick him here, I may exit this way, kick him in the ankles, right? This is stuff that is gonna minimize his ability to pursue. The key here is if I go forward, right, towards his head, he has full vision and he can come after me. Okay, which is what I don't want. I don't want him to be able to easily pursue me. Okay, so what I want to do is go away from the head, right? So I'm going to go towards his feet. So I go towards his feet. Boom, 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 boom. Right, so he's got to get up and turn to pursue it. It reduces his, his pursuit uh, rate or speed. Okay, go back down. The other piece of this that's key is you, most people... Okay, is that they'll be here and they'll push off and they'll start to pedal backwards. I cannot see what's behind me. The likelihood of me falling, tripping on something on the ground is high. So what you want to do is when you leave, right, is you want to turn. Again, if I stand up here, is I'm going to stand up like this, keep that arm down, push off before I leave. I'm still, still on. And I want to move in the direction of my hips. So I'm going to turn my hips and go this way. I can still spot as I move and I can glance forward to make sure I don't run into anything, okay? So a couple key pointers here, again, is don't exit towards the head where they can see you. Exit towards the feet if possible. Turn your hips so that you are running forward in the direction that your hips, the direction of your hips, uh, and kind of keep those verbal commands going as you are kind of in this confrontation. Okay. Part of that is helps with the legal aspect. It also helps with people tend to be compliant the more authoritative you are. Uh, and if anybody is viewing this, 
that they've heard the whole thing, right? Drop the knife, like go of the knife, da 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 da, da right? Versus they just hear the scuffle and he goes, some guy just beat me up, right? So he's all beat up and he claims that I beat him up. Versus if they heard me yelling, drop the knife, stand on the ground, look away, those commands, that it, it helps me in a legal issue. So, all right. So those are some pointers that will hopefully help people, viewers at home, as well as uh, this training group here to kind of learn the concepts, uh, learn kind of the different aspects of a knife defense, a takedown, a strip, and then how to exit successfully. All right.